here's the demo of the application whenever i'm clicking on this bottle this bottle will start to spin so welcome to techno learning and in this video we're going to develop that application so for that we need to open the android studio software and then we have to create a new project so that we can make this app from the scratch okay so now we have to click on new project then next and here we have to give the name of the application so i'm giving the name as simple animation game use okay you can give the name of your choice also you have to choose the language as java then you have to click on finish after that the gradle will start to build and it might take few time now we have to go to google and we'll search for the bottle image okay so here i gonna search for bottle png and then i have to go to images and then i have to choose one image so that that image can be appeared in our screen and we can spin that through the animations so here i have got that image i simply gonna download this image after that we wanna place it within the drawables so first of all let me download it okay now i have to give in the name as bottle and then save it okay now let me open the android studio and then let me go to resources here you can see that in the left side of the window then we have to go to drivers and here we have to paste that thing so i'll just copy it Control c and then i'll come back to the android studio and here i gonna just press Control v and then within the driver we have to paste it then okay again okay now we have to make the screen layout so we're gonna go to activity underscore layout dot xml file then we're gonna split this from the right side and let me minimize these things and here we have to code for our screen okay so now we have given the constraint layout first of all we have to convert convert this constraint layout into the relative layout so i'll just do it like this I'll just give the name of the relative layout here where I'm giving it and other than this uh, we have this text view but we don't need this text view we have to remove this so I'll just simply remove this text view and instead of this text view we're gonna need a image view and within that image view we need to place our image which image the image that we downloaded from the internet which is bottle.png okay so now to give the width and height so i'm giving the width and height as 300 dp for both and then i have to give the id so i'm just giving the id as button okay so why i'm giving this id i'm giving this id whenever we're gonna click on that a bottle or that image view then it should spin like animation should apply on it so for that we need to give that id and now we have to give like the image scale type at fit x y position and then here we have to give the path of the image relative path so driver dash slash bottle okay so now you can see that in the right side of your screen yeah so this is complete and now we have to code the java one here we have to give one variable here so first we're gonna take that image view as we have to map xml and java so that the app can function so i've given the name as bottle and again we need another boolean variable here okay so boolean we're gonna give like rotate okay so we're gonna take it false and we're gonna toggle this variable or value while we rotating that then we're gonna need random why we are using random like uh, you can see in a bottle spinning game the bottle can be stopped at any random position so for that we are using random here and then we're gonna use another variable and this is like n okay so n position we have decided as given as well as zero now we gonna map our xml and java code that is with the id or image view bottle so like find view 
my id r dot id then dot button button is the id that we gave in the xml part now we have to set up that uh, set on click listener like uh, on clicking of that image view or that bottle the animation get into work so for that need we need to set up this set on click listener then within the brackets we have to type like new space view on click listener okay it will come up within the suggestion part you just have to enter now we gonna need one function and that function name I have given as start animation whenever user clicking on that bottle then this function will come into picture okay so I have defined that function within this main activity class and now I have to define it okay so we have this function called start animation I hope you got the use of this now within this function what we need to do we need to use the animations and animation has its own library in the Android studio okay so first of all we are checking like if bottle is not rotate then final end we have to make another variable here rotate random okay and then what we gonna need to do just we gonna take the value from it and we are giving a upper bound of 1800 to it okay you can give the value of your choice then we need to add the pivot x and then pivot y like width and height okay so we gonna get the bottle height and width by using this functions like uh, height one and width one we gonna divide it by two to get the pivot and then here comes the interesting part which is the animation library that will allow us to apply animations on any image view okay so here i have taken like rotate animation we are using rotate animation and i have i am entering the end into it and then like it is asking for degree like for uh, which degrees like you want to be rotate your image okay so and we have taken as zero so zero degree to 180 degree we are choosing here okay now animation then set duration like we have to also set up the time duration so i'm just set up it with two five double zero milliseconds okay so the duration has been set and now what else we gonna do is like set fill after and within this we gonna pass true and then bottle dot start animation so we gonna start our animation and we finally pass the animation object into it and then animation dot set animation listener and here we have this okay so here just we gonna do just uh, toggle our flag okay if the animation is started then what we need to do so we'll just do it like uh, we have that uh, variable and that variable name was rotate so we're gonna take that one and let me check it yeah correct one rotate equals to true so if the animation starts then it is rotating so we are toggling that flag and if it is and then we gonna toggle it with false value okay so this part is completed and now